I had a special request from one of our viewers to see um, the Ian 34. Yeah, Ian 3400 product. So, okay. could you take us through that product lineup so we can sure. communicate to our viewers? Okay. The 3400 is actually over here. All right. <laughs> So, and, and by the way, we are at the Vesema booth, and <laughs> yes. Doug, you want to Sorry. introduce yourself quickly. Yes, uh, I'm Doug, Doug uh, VP of Software Engineering at Vesema Networks, and uh, I love coming to the show and just seeing what's going on and getting to meet everyone that uh, we're building products for. Great, fantastic. So, so this, tell is, me about this. this is our 3400. Uh, we like to call it a baby gap because it is effectively a gap uh, compliant housing that has been cut in half. Okay. So it's got three GAP uh, slots here, so uh, GAP compatible um, modules that are up to three wide uh, per the GAP standard fit in here. Same power supplies as GAP, the same RF amplifiers, same RPD modules from us. Anyway. Those all fit in the this half GAP housing. Right. And so when you're looking at where you're deploying, how big your footprint is, uh, particularly like MDUs, I really like this type of smaller form factor versus the large gap. Uh, we have this half gap or baby gap, which is uh, the N3400 here. Uh, so very, uh, very interesting. Uh, this has been very interesting over the last few questions. Yeah, yeah. And it, it goes up to 1.8 gigahertz, yeah. which we're seeing a lot of that on yeah. the floor today. So that's exciting yeah. technology. Because a lot of 1 gigahertz, 1.2 gigahertz, but now we're expanding it out to 1.8 gigahertz. Yeah, both of our gap housings, so the big one and the baby gap, uh, they are all 1.8 gig housings. Um, we have 1.8 gig amplifiers for FDD, um, obviously. <laughs> and uh, and then we have our DOCSIS 4 modules over here that are brand new. Uh, we could also take a look at that. Okay. If you're this module is our 3.1 module in here right now in the setup, um, but our 4.0 modules fit in this uh, housing as well. Yeah. I see you have multiple Ethernet ports in here. What does that give the operator? Yeah. So in our 3.1 line of technology, we have three Ethernet ports, mm -hmm. um, which uh, you can do uh, multiple backhauls with them. You can do redundancy on those links, uh, and that's kind of the, the benefit of that. You can also do some uh, extra daisy training with the ETH2 uh, if you, you know, want to use the node as a jumping off point for another leg of fiber. Awesome. So that would allow you to extend it to another fiber node. Does it? Do you see a future capability where you could do a pawn extension or anything?